good morning all of you myself ashish desai assistant professor mechanical department today we discuss regarding the plc circuit so before that we have discussed regarding the plc in output instruction syllabus symbols in that normally open and normally close these are the two symbols for input instructions and output instruction is the the output latch or unlatch un un so before that we discussing the normally open symbol this is the normally open symbols if the value is 1 the output will be on and if the value is 0 the output will be off that means what if the value of normally open is 1 output is on that means when the switch is pressed up then and only output will be on in next case that is normally closed if value of is 1 then output will be off in case of normally closed if value is 1 output will be off and if value is 0 then output will be on that means if the well the button is pressed up the output is deenergized when you press it output is deenergized so this is regarding the input instruction so last time we discussed regarding the last video now we discuss the next case the basic circuits so this is the basic circuit we are draw for all circuits and end circuits so these are the two vertical lines these are the two vertical lines that is called as power rail and these two symbol indicated by normally open contact so these are in a parallel manner so these are called as or circuits so if input 1 is on then output 1 is on and if input 2 is on output 1 is on means what any of the switch or input is on output will be on so this is regarding the or circuit then we go for and circuits so there are two there are two normally open contacts which is in series so this is indicated as if input 1 and 2 is on then and only output 1 is on means what when the current flows from this right hand uh, left hand side left hand side so input 1 is on and input 2 is on then current flows from input 1 to 2 to output 1 so that means what the output will be energized so this is regarding the and circuits so these are the basic difference between and and or circuits now we move for next circuit that is disagreement circuit so in the disagreement circuits there are two normally open and two normally closed switches is there so in this program output one will be off output one means what light so light one will be off whenever the switch one and switch two is having same value suppose switch one is value one and switch 2 is also value 1 so that means what this one creates current flows from this end to this end but because of switch 2 is 1 so current is not now flow to the output side so in same case will be happen in a uh, this parallel line so in that case switch 1 value is 1 so this is off condition and switch 2 is having 1 so because of that the current flows does not flow to the output side so here we mention that if value is same then light will be off switch 1 and switch 2 value will be same then light will be off suppose we consider here the value will be different suppose switch 1 value is 1 and switch 2 value is 0 so here one value is there for switch 1 and switch 2 is 0 so this is on condition this is off condition so that's why the current flows from left to right and the light will be indicated light will be blowing so this is the disagreement circuit so so this type of circuits we are used in staircase wiring or you can say the light we can operate a single light by using two switches so this is nothing but a disagreement circuit and this is the ladder program for disagreement circuits now we move for next circuit so here we are discussing different circuits so the next circuit is two handed anti tie down and anti repeat 
So first of all, we discuss 200 run activations. When the machine will be start by two switches, that is left start and right side. So when two switches is on, then and only run the run CR or can say coil relay is on. That means machine will be on. So why it is put up the two switches left and right because the the machine is heavy then and then only that time the accidental chances will be there so that's why we are keeping the left right left right switches so whenever the operator is confirmed for that operations so that time the left start and right start it should be on and then and only run actuation will be done so this is regarding the two-handed run actuations so this is first a first point then we discuss regarding the two that is anti tie down and anti repeat so this circuit is different than 200 run actuations here also we are proceeding for left start and right start so whenever the heavy machines or heavy duty applications is there so that time we can keeping the left start switch and right start, right start switch so here whenever the left and right switches is both pressing at the same time then and then only the CR1 that is will be run if if yes one that is left switch will be pressed first and right switch will be s2 will be switch after some times so that time will be 0.5 seconds so after 5.5 seconds will be there so that time what will happen this left start will be pressed first and this because of that this timer will be setting and after 5 seconds this tdr will be disconnects this is normally closed symbol so if this disconnects means what this is will be on and the current does not flow to the run so that's why the cr1 will be off so this is regarding the anti tie down and anti repeat so again i repeat if switch 1 is pressed only in once so this switch will be activate the timer and the after 0.5 seconds the tdr will be on and that cr will be off so here it requires s1 and s2 will be started at the same time same time means what it's in between 0.5 seconds so this is called as anti die down anti repeat the next point we move for the circuit is the always on and off so in that circuit we'll discuss regarding the first always on contact so here we have placed two sim two inputs and one output is there so two input is one is the normally open and normally closed so these are the both same input so coil relay that is relay c output will be always de-energized because of the logic of normally open that is input one and normally closed input one contact can never be true that's why it always remember that it should be de-energized so this circuit is always closed or you can say always or you can say never energizes so this is the circuit for always on contacts this is called as always on circuit so because if you proceeding for in one value is one so here one so current will be from this one this one to this end but because of this value one so it should be it becomes zero so that's why you can see current not now flow from left to right so that's why relay will be not activated so this is the circuit it is never energizes the next we move for always off contacts so always off contact indicate that here also two normally sorry one normally open and one normally closed contact and one output is relay so the logic solution for this run is always true so here always two circuit is there 
always true means you are always the circuit will be energized suppose we can put the value of in one is one so relay will be on so if it is in one is zero so the current flows from this side or can say this loop so it indicates that the current flows in in a left right in any manner so if it is one value or it is zero value so this is the difference between or and and circuits so this is or circuit so that's why these circuits will be always energized so this is called as always of contacts so here advantages of this circuit is if there is a program requirement that coil needs to be de-energized until after this first scan and always energize coil after use the run is placed at the end of the program this way the coil will be de-energized until the end of the program where the run is solved for the first time after the time the coil will be also energizes and remain it until the plc is turned off so this is the circuitry for always on and always off then next we move for nesting of the ladders nesting means it depending on one more rung or you can say it is having number of more rungs on a circuit so you know that these two lines that vertical lines is called as power rails this is and then these two is called as rungs so this is first rung second rungs so here i only mention that two rungs but according to your program or can account to your system you can increase number of rungs so here if you put the value of in one value is one the relay will be one means what on so that relay on we can take reference as on second line or you can second runs so output will be on or you can say output in case here lamp wall or solid walls so this is depending on first term and second term so dependence is depend so that's why this is formation of nesting so here the nesting circuits will be looking into the pictures so this is the important circuit for the bridging the number of complex structures or complex programs for constructing the programs of ladder then next we move for fail safe circuits so why it is used because you are when you are designing the ladder so at the hardware side it is difficult to manage all the uh, fail safe or can say fail so here are some uh, discuss points regarding the how you have to protecting or how safe you have to save the circuits while designing the new or new circuits so whenever logic circuits created which is compares with electrochemical relays so that builds up that builds up different functions and then it creates a complex logic circuits so it is better that we can construct safety circuits so in a first in a first on left hand side there are four switches so if switch 1 switch 2 switch 3 switch 4 any one switch is on the siren will be on so this is the or logic function with four input switches so so if it any if any problem is there or if any failure of machine is there so that four switches will be indicating a siren positions suppose we um, we go for more safety sides if it is the switch 1 and switch 2 and switch 3 and switch 4 will be on and if it is one of that one siren one but in that case if it is open wire connection is there so that time if it is switch 2 is on so it does not complete this path so the siren will be does not energized so that time we go for the par in a series circuit so here all four switches is in a series so that's why these four switches is on then and only cr1 is on and cr1 
disconnect the siren so here you have to measure safety in a circuitry so the main advantage of the fails circuit is to make a control system as a tolerate as possible as likely wiring or component failures we are we are predicting the component failure by that circuit the next important type of warning wiring and component failure is an open circuit so therefore fail safe system should be designed a default to safest mode of operation in this case of we are preventing from open loop circuits so this is the major advantage of fail safe circuits so here main goal for the circuit is to protect the system or can say we can save for the circuit because if it is fails the power of power of the power then machines will be stops so whenever the four machines or can say four machines will be on the siren will be on in that case so this is the advantages of fail safe circuits now we move for next concept that is boolean algebra so boolean algebra equation we are last we are discuss here so now we construct the ladder first and then we go for boolean operations so whenever the rules of boolean algebra is if normally open or normally close is in a series series then boolean equation becomes multiplications and if normally close contact a that is suppose consider as example normally close contact is there so we had written as a a bar so first of all we discuss this problem first so this is the figure here given it there and we are writing the boolean equations so this b these two lines is called as power line rails and this is the one line it is called as rungs so here b switch is there a switch is there and c switch is there so b switch is there so this is normally open a switch is there normally closed and c switch is there normally open and x is the output so i can write for boolean equations like that x is equal to b you can take as it is that is b dot because all is in a series that's why b dot here i can write a but a bar because this is normally close so when anywhere it is normally close is there we can write bar so that's why a bar dot c so this is regarding the boolean equation of these circuits now we move for next rule if normally open or close normally close contact are in parallel manner so this is another parallel manner then boolean equations becomes addition so that time it become additions and if normally close contact a is then written as a bar so same condition is there now we discuss here the problem number 2 to here this is ladder ladder diagram given to you and we are deriving the boolean equations so here you know that these three are in a parallel so whenever parallel is there that time you take additions and if it is in series then you can take as a multiplication so first of all we write output output is a so that's why a is equal to so a is equal to the equation becomes b bar so first of all i can write b bar here then dot c b bar because it is normally closed and c dot c dot d bar plus e plus f bar because normally close is there that's why i can write bar so this is the boolean equation for the circuit so this is the boolean equation thank you here we have discussed regarding the all the contents of pl circuits so first of all we discussed regarding the power and and circuits then we discussed disk agreement circuits and always on and off circuits then nesting circuits and fail safe circuits so these are the important circuits for the 
while constructing the ladder program. So in the next lecture, we'll, we'll discuss, thank you. In the next lecture, we'll discuss the how to use the software like RLS logics. Thank you.